Um, in this uh, lesson, we are going to work on the comments. So we have approved and unapproved comments. So we have a few things to, to do here. Uh, we have to list uh, comments, delete comments, and mark comments as approved and not approved. Okay, so um, let's start with adding a comments um, link up here. Okay, so let's uh, go into our terminal and I'm going to uh, start with, actually if I come over here, go into command and seeds, let's add some record to our database. All right, so we want to populate comments, but comments belongs to visitors. So we need to start with our visitors first. So in our seeds.ruby.rb, I'm going to say visitor, uh, create a new visitor, and has a full name. And the full name, we can get this from the faker. Um, from here, so we have faker name, that name will give us a random name to use. An email, we'll do the same with emails. We'll come over here, we'll copy uh, internet.email and then we paste. Okay, so now that we have uh, the visitor, we now want to have uh, the comments. So we start by saying comment equals comment dot create. Okay, and we can quickly have a look and see. So it's message, status, posts, and visitors. So we have message, we have status, and we have post, and we have visitor. So this belongs to a post and a visitor. So the message, um, we can copy the content we have up here, a paragraph. And for status, we are, we want status to be either true or false. So this is a way of choosing one or the other. So um, we basically have true or false sample. We'll randomly choose true or false every time we, we create, we iterate over our 30 records. So that's what that does. So this post corresponds with that post over there. And this visitor here is the same as a visitor on line 24. Okay, so now we have done that. We can say rake uh, db reset. So this will wipe our database and recreate the database. And this time um, we have an error. I'm expecting, which means I forgot to put a comma. So put a comma at the end of everything, okay? Apart from the last one, it's okay. So DB research deletes the database and recreates the database, and this time including uh, our newly created visitor and comment. Okay, so restart your SQLite and check the visitor. So we have some dummy data, full name and email addresses, 30 of them in total. And in comments, we also have some dummy uh, messages and we have random uh, true and false are created here. So that is what sample does. It chooses uh, one of the elements and, and uses that at random. All right, so now we have uh, data. We can now say Rails generate controller admin comments. And we want to be able to list all the comments, or be able to update the status and destroy a comment. All right, so now if we uh, go to our roots, so command P roots, and then uh, down in here namespace, we want to say resource, and that is comments. We want to only create uh, this method in our controller. It's going to have routing for index, routing for update, and routing for destroy. So go ahead and destroy and delete all these namespaces. And the next thing we want to do is go to our views and delete some of the generated views that we don't need. So we can get rid of that. So we can also get rid of that. Okay, so go into our controller, uh, go into comments controller, add admin. So it is behind 
uh, username and password protection okay and now let's go into our layout and go into admin in layout copy 24 paste it twice and update tags so it's comments and the link here will be admin uh, comments path so this will link to the comments um, index all right so now refresh our page and we should have comments and if you click on it it takes us to the index uh, view so let's go to the index uh, uh, view here so double click on comments index and we can uh, just call this comments and remove uh, the paragraph all right so i think our setup for comments is pretty much uh, done so we have approved and unapproved links which we want to have on our index page so in a p a paragraph uh, element we're going to say link to and we're just linking to something called approved and the path will be admin comments path okay um, when we click on approved we want to send additional information to the controller so i want to say status is true so that means that we are approving um, that particular comment and the other type of uh, comment is the unapproved okay so when we come here you click on it to send false which will set it to unapproved now let's save this and reset the page we have approved and unapproved so when we click unapproved up here we have the parameters being set to true and the parameters being set to false so that's how the data is being sent to our controller through the URL parameters okay so um, in the next lesson we are going to work on extending these functionalities putting things in our index update and destroy and carry on from from there all right so this is what we've done in this lesson and we have a few more things to do and um, this is where this lesson ends and I'll see you I'll see you in the next lesson